Hey, what's up? Welcome to day two of Demo Week. Today we are checking out Law Mage Academy. This is a magic school themed RPG. So if a uh, fan of things like, say, Harry Potter and all that, this might be up your alley. So yeah, let's just dive right in here. And this game is not yet released. So, worth noting that as well. There are the keyboard controls. I am using a controller, so we'll figure this out as we go. Skip the introduction? No. Never skip the introduction to an RPG. Here, 1050 Maguskaya. Maguskaya. Got it. A magical country filled with both wonders and dangers. The Magisterium, a group of powerful mages, governs Magus Gaia to ensure the safety of its citizens. However, the magical creatures of Magus Gaia are too much for the Magisterium to handle alone. Law Mage Academy was then established to produce law mages to help the Magisterium protect the country. Potential students are screened by the administrators before being invited to enroll in the Academy. You are one of the chosen few of the in er, to be invited to Law Mage Academy. After saying farewell to your parents and making the necessary arrangements, you were then transported to Law Mage Academy and led to your respective dormitory. Tomorrow is the first day of class. You decide to sleep early tonight. Cool. Hmm. Are you the new guest? I am past. It has been quite a long time since I had a visitor. Unfortunately, I can hardly see you. I am merely a book, after all. Before we begin, tell me which style you prefer. Yeah, we're definitely going with B. A wonderful choice. What should I call you? Sile? Interesting name. I keep trying to move with the D-pad, but it only recognizes the uh, analog stick. That might be a quirk with the PS4 controller. I don't like typing <laughs> with an analog stick. Great, I probably could have just typed that with the keyboard. Okay, flare it is. Interesting name. Okay, I deserve that. I said the same thing about your default name. Please indulge me with a few more questions so I can get to know you better. Which among these items strike you the most? Wooden sword, ball of yarn, silver flute, clear mirror. Wooden sword. Interesting. What will you do with the item? Use it, save it for later, give it to a friend, sell it. Eh, save it for later? Very good. Now, tell me, what is the purpose of power? To control, for defense, for provision, for equality. Uh, let's go with defense. Intriguing. Now, I must ask you one final question. What are your virtues? Courage, strength, and justice. Wisdom, pride, and intellect. Balance, growth, prosperity. Faith, loyalty, honor. Faith, loyalty, honor. 
an honorable statement. Very soon. Or, not very soon. Very well. From now, I shall be your guide. Law Mage Academy. The Academy is divided into four houses, grouping students according to their aptitude and personality. Foxhelm, Solstice, Visage, and Drakewood. The administrators decided that you belong to Drakewood House. I wonder, is that predetermined or was that actually a result from the questions I just answered? Because that would actually be pretty cool. This is the perfect fit for you. The Drakewoods will help you grow into an honorable law mage who values loyalty. Before I let you go, I wish to give you one bit of advice. You are responsible for your own choices, Flair. I hope you bear this in mind at all times. Now we are ready to face what lies ahead. At the sound of three bells, you will wake up. You wake up after hearing the school bell. It is the first day of class at Law Mage Academy. You remember that you promised to meet Ein in front of the main building entrance. Quest journal. Press XK and choose journal in the menu to see your current quests. This will help you keep track of your progress in the game. Okay, one thing I would absolutely like is if it had a... Uh, if it would show me the controls for the controller. It looks like start takes me to the menu. Alright, let's go. Hello. Hello there, how may I help you? Okay, so this is the record keeper. Now I save. Did it. Uh, talk? First day, huh? Are you nervous? I know you probably have a lot of questions, but right now, you should go to homeroom class. Feel free to ask me if you have any questions after that. Sure. Okay, this is very finicky with the analog stick. I don't like that. Now I'm actually gonna... There we go. Switching the keyboard. <laughs> Oh, hi. My name's Danya. I'm just sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee. You can get one from the record keeper's table, too. Yo, they did not tell me anything about coffee. Give me coffee. Uh, job? You want a job, huh? You can focus on getting through your first day for now. Just give me coffee. Alright, well, I'm going this way. Oh, well, look at this place. Oh, what's this a statue of? Drakewood statue. Supreme Magister Drakewood was the head of the first magisterium. Due to his influence and charisma, he was able to unite the other high magisters to establish the magisterium that would govern Magus Gaia. Cool. 
you find something shiny on the floor. Found a Drakewood pin. Nice. I'm kind of just turned loose here. Sorry, candidate. I can't let you pass. Only Visage members are allowed beyond this point. But does that mean I could become a Visage member? Well, probably not now, but could have. So where is homeroom then? Is it here? The cafe is currently under renovation. We open our doors on day 30. Alright. It definitely seems like this is divided into sections. Like it seems each house has its own section. Go back in here. Now this is the Drakewood Commons. Talk to some people. Hello there, my name's Ekon. Would you know if clubs are a thing here? I would love to join one. Hey there, fellow candidate. I'm Alec. Did you know that we can take jobs here and make a bit of gold? How did I know? The record keeper told me all about it. A pleasure to meet you. My name's Amare. I honestly don't like studying, but I love staying in libraries. I can't wait to see the Academy's library. Okay, anybody want to tell me where class is? This is where I was earlier, isn't it? No, oh, that's the mentor's office. There's a note on the door. I'll be out on a mission for some time. I hope you all represent Drakewood properly while I'm away. Ball Mage Triella. Alright then. Let's we'll see if we can find the actual building. Oh, there's Sprint. Found it. Well, if each of these has a common area. So this is Fox Helm. Visage was to the northeast. Now this looks like an important place. Yo. Oh, I did not expect voice acting. Oh, there's Ein. All right, cool. Blair, there you are. I've been waiting here for an hour. How the heck were you late? I had a weird dream. I didn't hear the alarm. A weird dream about a talking book? <laughs> First day of class at Law Mage Academy? Oh, a weird dream about a book talking about- yes. Man, I didn't know you were this stressed out about the first day of class. Anyway, this is it. We're finally here at Law Mage Academy. I can't wait to learn spells and meet cute girls. Hey, Flair. Remember when we were still kids? We used to play pretend like we were law mages going on adventures, right? Well, now that we're here, once we go through those doors, our lives will never be the same again, huh? Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're right. No point worrying about it now. Oh, I'm ready when you are. Fine joins the party. Sweet, we got a party. Yep, that's definitely a party. Cool. Let's go to the front desk. Maybe someone can help us find our classroom. Welcome to Law Mage Academy. I am Magister Helga. Or, to be more accurate, I am a magical projection of Magister Helga. 
My job is to assist students in choosing the classes they wish to attend. The process is very simple. Every morning, you may talk to me and pick one of the classes you wish to attend for that day. Note that not all classes are available forever. Some are only available for a limited time, so make sure you take the classes you want before they are gone. Why don't you try enrolling in a class now? All right, we got Homeroom, Spellcasting Basics, Oceancraft 101, Combat Basics, Item Craft Charms, Aura Skills, and Aura Breaks. Okay, so we get various bonuses here. Okay, it looks like we have to take Homeroom class where we can get most of these. Alright, I think we just start with Homeroom. This is an introduction to the Ground Rules of Law Mage Academy. Very well. Please proceed to West Wing 1 to attend your Homeroom class. Everyone here? Well, it doesn't really matter. Let us begin. I am Law Mage Sircon. I have been a Law Mage for eight years now. Eight years, huh? And he still hasn't been promoted to Magister? He's probably still too young. I mean, most Magisters are old, right? Ahem. Today I will be your homeroom professor. Homeroom is simply an introduction to the ground rules of Law Mage Academy for candidates like yourselves. Hence, you only need to take this class once. Let us begin with basic classroom rules. Personally, I only have one rule. Don't be late. Right. Functionality is the most important thing in the world for you, isn't it? That is correct. I am disappointed to see you late on your first day, candidate. Go to your seat. Now. As I was saying, Law Mage Academy is an independent institute composed of the headmaster, the professors, the students, and the staff. Our current headmaster is the 102nd headmaster, Osborne Oldcraft. He has the final say on everything we do here. According to Headmaster Osborne's curriculum, you will be staying at Law Mage Academy for 200 days, which comprises the whole school year. During this period, you are free to choose the classes you wish to attend, however, you must complete your basic classes first. Passing your classes will increase your grade, indicates your overall Law Mage performance. If you fail a class, you may take the same class again, provided it is still available. However, remember that failing too many classes is a grave mistake. Huh. Whatever you say. Remember that only 25% of candidates graduate as Law Mages every year. Some candidates do not graduate for various reasons, usually due to lack of discipline. Therefore, I advise you to maximize your time at the Academy. Take as many classes as you can. While you can. That is all for homeroom class. Oh, I almost forgot. There is one rule that is strictly implemented throughout the whole Academy. You are not allowed outside of your houses after nightfall. Anyone caught violating this rule will be summarily punished or even expelled. That's dismissed. Aww. Well, that was boring. Since we have the rest of the day off, what are you going to do now? Sleep. I feel you. 
Better get some shut eye while we still can, right? Huh. Hey, listen. We might not be in the same house, but I'm still here for you, okay? Don't be a stranger now. Oh, see ya. Mine left the party. What is this? You find an old book on the floor. A number of pages seem to be missing. You acquire a mysterious book. That seemed ominous. You suddenly feel tired. You decide to sleep in your room. Oh, anything I can do in here? Mess with the desk. Which book do you want to study? Oh, I accidentally picked one. Whoops. Owing to extreme talent and power called by many as the Magister Millennia. Can perform magical feats never thought to be possible. Responsible for crafting many spells which only high magisters are capable of casting. Oh, Alright, the mysterious. Okay, so it is missing like the first page. You know, a very important one. <laughs> Greetings, we finally meet each other. Have you forgotten already? I am your guide. Past. I promise that I will be with you for the rest of your stay here at Law Mage Academy. You seem confused. I remember you. Very good. I am pleased to know that you have not forgotten about me. You must be tired after your first day of class. I'll get to the point. As a Law Mage candidate, you have a lot of work to do. First, you must learn spellcasting and potion craft. Make sure to enroll in one of those classes tomorrow. Do you understand? Sure. Excellent. I will remind you tomorrow so that you will not forget. Do not worry. Everything will be just fine as long as I am here with you. I shall let you rest now. Until next time. You decide to sleep. It is a new day. Today is year uh, 1050, semester 1, day 2. Good morning. Make sure to enroll in a class today. All right. We have tasks. Enroll in either spellcasting or potion class. Got it. I would like to save, please. Will you give me a job now? Come talk to me tonight if you're interested. Interesting. Alright, let's go have another class. Thinking we do spell casting. I have this feeling that Spell casting is the exciting one. Ocean crafting probably going to be the like super broken one later. Welcome. Do you like to enroll in a class? Spell casting basics. Very well. Please proceed to West Wing 2. Good morning, candidate. Please settle down now, and we can begin. I am Magister Demetrius. It's a pleasure to meet you all. 
I've been teaching this class for decades now, and I'm still excited to teach candidates what I know. I've seen many young, clueless students like you grow up to be fine law mages. So it's perfectly fine if you're completely new to spellcasting. Today you'll be learning your very first law mage spell. Isn't it exciting? But before that, you must first understand what law mages are and our role in society. The Magisterium created this academy to produce law mages who can protect our country, Magus Gaia. What sets a law mage apart from ordinary mages is that we are trained to use more powerful spell than what is normally available to ordinary mages. Actually, it's illegal for anyone other than law mages to use law mage spells. A lot of mages in prison are charged with violating this law. Yeah. Excuse me, Professor, I have a question. Ah, this should be interesting. What is so special about law mage spells? Why aren't ordinary mages allowed to cast them? Good question. I figured someone here would ask that. Simply put, law mage spells are quite amazing. Imagine being able to cure life-threatening diseases, or generating enough wind power to operate mills. With such power at your disposal, many people attempt to exploit these spells for their own personal motives. But you see, these spells are crafted by the High Magisters of the Magisterium, the best ones in the field of magic. A single error can cost a life. Only those who have superior control of mana can cast these spells. As such, the Magisterium only authorizes law mages who are given special training to use them. Mm. Thank you, Professor. I understand now. Wonderful. Well then, today you will learn your first basic law mage spell. Pay attention now. Your first choice is in Gaia. It is a basic earth spell most effective against insect type monsters. Quite brutal, isn't it? You can even use this spell to crush some boulders. The second spell is in Heal. It is a basic healing spell that you can use both during and outside of battle. You can use it on yourself and other people as well. Lastly, the Britlin spell. It inflicts a small amount of damage, but it lowers your enemy's physical defense. If you find yourself going against a tough enemy, then this spell might just do the trick. Now, I want you all to decide which spell you want to learn today. You can only learn one spell in this class, so choose wisely. Ooh. Which spell do I want to learn? Hmm. So we have a straight up damage spell, a healing spell, and we have a debuff spell. I feel like the healing is going to be the most useful, like of the three. But having a damage spell is also kind of fun. I'm going to take the damage spell. You begin studying how to cast in Gaia. And you were successful. You learned in Gaia. Well done, everyone. I hope you all had fun learning your first law mage spell today. As I said, if we're studying to be a wizard, I think we're going the black mage route. Just pure evocation, let's go. Even though you only learned basic spells today, I want you all to be proud of yourselves. Remember that it is not the spell that makes a law mage powerful, but one's discretion in using it. Bust dismissed. Hey, you have cleared the Spellcasting Basics class.
I kind of like that it gives you choices like that, though. Like, you actually build your character through the classes you take. Like, I was expecting it to just give me all three spells, and I like that it didn't. Okay, it's nighttime. I want to go see what was up with this. Good evening, how may I help you? Okay, first of all, we're going to save. Just in case things go horribly wrong. Now let's talk about that job. Glad to know you're interested. How about I let you do a bit of housekeeping? I could use some help keeping things tidy around here. I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. Think of it as part-time job at night. What do you think? You want to work for a bit? Sure. Alright then. Here's a cloth you can use to wipe the tables clean. You begin wiping tables in your house. You give the tables a second glance to make sure you cleaned everything. The record keeper pays you 60, I assume it's gold, for a job well done. You decide to sleep after finishing up your work. Alright, that was neat. This is like a little side thing that I found. It didn't actually make me clean the tables myself, I just did it automatically, so that's... I think that's not even tedious. I'll take just a bit of cash, sure. Alright, so we need to take the other class, I think. Yeah, I need to take potions today. Got it. I'm sure there's tons of, like, side things here I'm missing, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of keep progressing. Like, if I was just sitting here playing this casually, I would be talking to every single person every day. This also does seem like the path to progress at the moment. Welcome. Would you like to enroll in a class? Yep, let's do Potion Craft. I know some of these have the duration as two days. I'm not sure I like the fact it uses the term noobs. Alright, Potion Craft, let's go. West Wing 3. What's in the east wing? Oh, it's actually Helga. Welcome to Potioncraft 101, dear students. I am the Academy's Potioncraft Specialist, Magister Helga. I spent years studying the rigors of Potioncraft under the tutelage of Ella Solrum, who is one of the current High Magisters in the Magisterium. Today, I will give you some guidance that High Magister Ella gave me when I was still a candidate like you. Follow my instructions, and there should be no problems with your potion. Let us begin. In order to make potions, first, you need to have the recipe. You will not be able to craft anything if you do not have the recipe for it. Second, you need to have the ingredients indicated in the recipe. That is why law mages often venture to perilous locations. Some ingredients can only be found in those areas. Um, Professor, may I ask a question? Yes, my dear. Do we have to memorize the recipe? Must we spend days studying it like we study our spells? No, you do not. As long as you have the recipe and the ingredients, you will be able to craft the potions. I see. Thank you, Professor. You are most welcome. Moving on. Today, I will help you craft either a health potion or a mana potion. As all mages, fighting magical creatures is part of the job. When you are injured, simply use a health potion to heal your wounds. As you know, we protect 
Magus Gaia using powerful magic. Hence running out of mana while in a mission is simply unacceptable. Use mana potions to recover when you find yourself running low on mana. I will be assisting you in crafting your potions for today. Later you will be crafting by yourself in the next item craft class. Well then, let's get started. I want you to make five vials of the potion you choose to craft. Get to it now. Which potion do I want to craft? Mana. Begin learning how to craft a mana potion. And you are successful. Crafted a mana potion. Great work, everyone. Now you have an idea on how to craft your own potions. At this stage, you are not yet ready to craft potions without supervision. You need to pass the item craft charms class first. I'll be giving you a copy of Potion Craft Volume 1 so you can start making potions as soon as you pass that class. Yay. I hope you enjoyed today and I look forward to seeing you again in class. Until then, class dismissed. Hey, we cleared Potion Craft 101. And that should complete our quest. I go clean the tables again for more money. Must be like a recurring thing. Yeah, first of all, save. Alright, here's a cloth. You oh, I can do this repeatedly. Nice. I can keep doing that to earn a little bit of extra money. It's a new day. Today is... Yes. Day four. My potion craft book look like. Having a recipe allows you to craft items at designated crafting stations. Unlike spell books, these recipes need not be mastered. Cool. But that was... Definitely the minimal amount of information. Alright, can I get a day job now? Alright, I'm still gonna complete classes. So what about that quest? Because I did finish that. I don't have any quests at the moment. And it's possible something will trigger when I get there. Hello, candidate. Shh, not too loud. Call me traitor. Listen, I have something here that might interest you. Strange person shows you several books. What are these? Alright, you haven't seen many of these yet, huh? These are spell books, candidate. Spend a few days studying these books, and you'll find yourself having more spells at your disposal. I believe that the Academy is being selfish with these knowledge. I say Headmaster Osborne is scared that students might be learning too much. That's why professors teach you only one spell at a time, and only if you go to their classes. What's worse is that you can't even retake some of the classes. You think that's fair? Well, the retaking part is definitely not fair. Neither do I. But I come to you as an emissary of knowledge. Spells are difficult to learn by yourself. However, with these spell books, you can learn any spell you want. Each book comes with detailed instructions on how to cast them. As such, a spell book can only teach you one spell. So, can I interest you in some spell books? These things are not easy to come by, so it'll cost you 300. I don't know how much I actually have. 
sure. I know I have at least 120 from cleaning tables. Oh, these are the other two books. Hey, give me the heel. Short on gold, are we? I'm sorry I cannot give these away for free. Perhaps you have some gold stashed in your room? I tell you, books are always a good investment. Anyway, when you have enough gold, you know where to find me. Alright, cool, so we can reobtain those spells. It's good to know, though. Today's class... I'm thinking about combat basics. I highly recommended that the noobs know a few spells and have potions on hand to avoid dying at such a young age. Let's do combat basics. Let's see what combat's like. West Wing 4. Someday we'll see the East Wing. Someday. I wonder what she's like. Isn't she famous in the Vanguard? Lawmage Zelka? I heard she's really tough and strict. Well, she did get to fight judges with... Headmaster Osborne. I hope he doesn't treat this class as an actual war. I heard the combat basics is brutal compared to the other basic classes because of her. Look at them. I bet these clowns don't have any actual battle experience yet. Huh. They do look pretty weak. It's a bit disappointing. I was expecting this batch to have candidates with some potential, or more potential. I made that worse than it was. At least we won't have to worry about them having weak classmates makes things easier for us. Mama. They're starting to get on my nerves. Who do they think they are? Calm down. I don't want any trouble with them. Attention! Um, Law Mage Zelka? What? Are you going to learn... Are we going to learn any battle techniques? Oh, right. You can either attack or cast spells on a monster. Slice them, stab them, burn them, whatever. Just kill them. Guard if you get scared. Doing so will reduce the damage you take. Alternatively, you may escape if you feel like you can't handle your opponent. Your mission is to get some... Or is to get some flowers, not die in a forest. Any other questions? None? Good. Terms of this class are very simple. You bring me the flowers, you pass. If you don't, you fail. You must complete this mission at all costs. If you cannot even do something so simple, then you are unfit to become a law mage. Before we head out, I want you to choose a weapon in this room. Make sure to equip it before we leave. Talk to me when you're done so we can move. Clear? Good. I like her. Alright, combat weapons, find and equip a weapon, gather some Arashia, Arashia flowers. Oop, too many buttons. Alright, well it looks like the weapons are in the back here. A bow deals pierce damage. This is only for decoration. Look old and worn out. Is bow my only option? Alright, I guess we're taking a bow.
All right. Let's get that weapon. I could probably just hit best. Get it. Oh, I didn't even realize that a uh, Rakewood pin was a charm. Nice. All right, how do we head out? Do I just leave? Nope, can't leave. I see you have your weapon. Good. Now get back in line and wait for the others. Okay, so that advanced it. Now that everyone has their weapon, we can proceed to a rush a Rashia forest. I, just, I don't know why I have such trouble saying that. I will now cast a spell to take us there. Everyone stand still. Mastrasmio. Want to save? Yes. Yes, I do. Where are we? We're at the center of Arashia Forest. Normally it would take two days to travel here from the academy. However, I cast a spell to transfer all of us here instantly. As for your mission, I am giving you until sunset to gather some Arashia flowers. Bring them to me once you have found them. I will then uh, transio you back to the academy. If you fail to do so by sunset, you're going to have to walk back to the academy for two days. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Alright, so I gotta find some flowers. I assume it's not going to be as simple as this, huh? Alright, let's just explore. Probably going to see some combat. Which is what I'm here for. Combat can make a break in RPG. Yeah, I'm on my own. Okay, so we have attack, spells, aura, guard, item, escape. Okay. And we have Engaia, which takes 10 MP. Get the bat with it. Oh, it lived. Oh, we got vine whipped. Some attacks in. Got us a good dodge. Oh, we missed. That's bad. Hey, great up. And I found wood roots. Now, am I healed after combat? I am not. Health is already not looking great. I have five mana potions. That's helpful, right? I mean, what is an Orishia flower anyway? There are loads of flowers in this forest. Why can't she just take those? Maybe she's going to use it as ingredients for something. I don't know. Okay, the bow seems to do really good against bats. Got an apple, got a fang. Also, that level up we got probably helped a lot. Is something? 
Yeah, they're three oaks wood. Nice. Is there a crystal? Oh no, I got distracted by the crystal. Kill the bat. Yeah, these plants hit really hard and I don't like it. Don't miss. Please tell me that's a healing crystal. Okay, bat, I need you to not be right there. Who are you? I can easily burn those plant monsters with in burn. Can you? No, I have in rock. Stupid bat, why? Okay, this is... Actually, it's two bats. I think I can win this. If I can one-shot bats. Do not miss. It missed. And I'm dead. <laughs> you alright, kid? You fainted while fighting some monsters. Uh, I know you're new, but don't be so pathetic. Be more careful this time. Alright, cool. So it's not an instant failure. <laughs> Did I get healing? I did. I'm going to assume this is probably a class I can't actually fail because it's a prerequisite for so many other things. Alright, kill the bat. Jeez, why does that thing hit so hard? Do I have any auras? I do not. Oh, so close. Give it the jukes. Oh, it's a save crystal. But did that heal me? Sometimes that happens in RPGs. It did not. There's the level up. There. There seems to be a magical barrier. All right, we're not going south. You look important. I don't know a fire spell, so I can't burn that bush over there. Hmm, maybe I could use a shard instead? Yeah, there are three shrooms. Cool. Looks like it can be burned with a basic fire spell. Well, I don't have one of those. Bat, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, that locking a chest. I don't have a fire spell. I wasn't even an option. So I took a spear and I noticed that I have an easier time defeating bats compared to other classmates. Maybe bats are weak to pierce. Yeah, see, that's what I gathered. That's why I'm one-shotting them. Okay, I've gone full circle. Is there a northern path? I read in a book that the bats in Ashraya Forest are weak to lightning element. Good thing I know how to cast spells using that. Oh, the lucky you. And you know you can gather some oak wood in this forest? You should try picking up a few if you can. Yeah, I already did. Uh, where haven't I been yet? I think there was a path north over here. Yes.
Yeah, I haven't been here yet. Yes, break rock. You received two copper ore. Nice. You can feel strange energy emanating from the wall. Okay. Don't seem to be able to do anything with it. But that's a secret for potentially later. I don't know what these flowers I'm looking for look like, so I'm just kind of checking every plant I see. It looks like a special plant. Maybe a basic water spell will make it grow. Oh, this... Okay, this is suddenly giving me a lot of, like, Golden Sun vibes. Just the way that all works. For some reason, my wounds healed when I took a sip from this pond. Maybe it's some kind of water magic? It doesn't work a second time, though. Yes. Heal me. Yay. Healed. Nope, go away, bat. Catch me, I'm fast. Unless I run back into you. Go away, bat. I'm gonna be like level 20 by the time I get out of this forest. The fact the healing pond is in this direction makes me think this is correct. Alright, I don't know what I was doing there. Getting so close to killing those in one hit. Just step aside, Sylvia. Ah, looks like we have a new guest. You came just in time. Welcome to our little party. I am your host, Julius. Pretty soon other students are going to arrive, and you'll have no choice but to give us what we came at, right here for. <laughs> Julius. Bossy. These kids think they can fight us. Hilarious. That's quite bold of you to say that. Alyssa. Eh, you don't stand a chance. We will crush you. Please, we just want the flowers. Give us a few and we'll be on our way. Pond Pond. Oh, intervene. Hold it right there. Move any further and I'll cast another spell on him. Ah, forget it. Why don't we skip the fun part and... we we'll skip to the fun part and get this over with. <laughs> Jules. Ozzy. Just look at their faces. Whoops, no more flowers for you guys. Let's go. I don't want to waste any more time with them. Why are you doing this? What have we ever done for you to sabotage our grades? You have no idea what you're getting into, don't you? What a pity. You think becoming a law mage is a walk in the park, huh? That everything you will work out, or everything will work out if you do what is expected from you. You are all naive and weak. I'm doing you a favor by sparing you the humiliation of withdrawing from the academy. Julius, 
Before we go, let's leave a gift for these children. Why don't you cast that spell I told you about? Oh yeah, this is the perfect time to test it against humans. Here's a little something to keep you company on our behalf. One of these days, I swear they'll get what they deserve. Yeah. Hey, my name is Alyssa, and this is my friend, Vanelius. I know this might be too much to ask, but we need your help. Ponpon won't be able to go far in this state. Uh, he definitely can't fight either. Our best chance of getting out of here alive is to go slow and take our or take out the bats one at a time will you please help us yes or sure. i'm sorry for being a wimp Alyssa. if only i had the talent and intelligence to learn a lot of spells then maybe not your fault bon bon i promise to protect you and so far i failed i won't let it happen again just hang in there, okay? We'll get you to safety first. And then, we can deal with Sylvia later. What? Alyssa joins the party. There's no way I can get flowers here. I see a rock over there I might be able to break. Break rock. Alright, your rock isn't breakable. The fire looks manageable. Maybe a basic water spell can deal with this. What abilities does Alyssa have? And she has a sword. Is it in a Tura? What is that? Nature spell. Huh. Don't know that's super helpful. And I just knocked my controller off the desk. Oh, ignore that sound. Let's go. Dodge that bat. I can't sprint. Oh, boy. I can't a little. I mean, not as fast as it was. She has a sword that does slashing damage. That's probably good against the plants. All right, I have to fight this one. <laughs> Eek. Bats. Oh, that's a lot of bats. That's a lot of bats. Let's have you attack for now. All right, so we can get through bats pretty quick. Oh, but them ganging up on one person is awful. Now we even got a turn tracker up there. You just noticed that. Can I use the spring? Nope, they were right. It only works once. I was hoping they were lying. We're just wrong. Need a water spell for that. You yeah. know. Oh, I'm sorry for slowing everyone down. Because of my injuries, we have to risk getting caught by the fire. It's my fault. 
It's not your fault, Bon Bon. Sylvia set the glade on fire, not you. Besides, you know I could never leave you behind. We made a promise, remember? Yeah, yeah thanks, Alyssa. Here we're getting story. Nice. I doubt I can do anything with that wall up there now. Seems like a much later thing. It's sunset. We should head back and inform Law Mage Zelka about what happened. So there's a chest over there? How does one get there? Oh, it looks like there might be a path right there to the south here. Also a path to the east. Hey. Oh, and then burn shard. Nice. I can get rid of that plant. I can remember where it was. Can I go east? I haven't been east at all. Alright. Fire spreading. Got it. Alright, well I guess I can't go that way. That was a thing I should have found earlier. You kids finally showed up. Everyone else returned to the academy already. Oh yeah, absolutely report, Sylvia. Professor, we have something to tell you. Three students burned and destroyed the Arashia flowers, making it impossible for everyone else to complete the mission. Named for Sylvia, Julius, and Basi. Not only that, but they also injured Pon... Uh, Penelius, by casting a lightning spell on him. Is that so? Don't worry. I'll take care of the fire. As for your accusations, you better have some proof. Besser, Penelius is right here, and he can barely walk. Isn't that enough as proof? It doesn't prove anything. He could have been injured by monsters. However, assuming that what you say is true... Did I not expressly say that you must complete this mission at all costs? Yes, but... What did you do when they were about to burn the flowers? Did you defend your objectives with your lives? Or did you just stand there? We couldn't do anything, ma'am. We thought we were not allowed to fight other classmates. Pathetic! If you can't even defend a bunch of flowers, then how can I expect you to defend a person, or a village, or a city? You hesitated at the very last moment to use whatever force necessary to complete your mission. For that, you're a failure. Do me a favor. Go home. You do not deserve to be law mages. That, that's not fair. Let's go, Pon Pon. There's no point arguing. You are weak. That's the bottom line. I want you to go back to your dorm and think about whether being a law mage is for you. Okay, well that took an unexpected turn. It took you two days to travel back to the academy. Alyssa left the party. Okay, so... That's interesting. I think I am going to wrap the video up here, though. That seems like a decent enough stopping point. Yeah, I kind of want to see where this goes from here. This is actually pretty cool. I like that the battles seem actually hard.
but yeah. Anyway, this is Law Mage Academy. It's on Steam. Well, the demo's on Steam. The game's not out yet. But uh, definitely look forward to the full release. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.